This is part two of the Princess Dragon tutorial for Alice 3. In this video, we're going to work on writing some methods. The first thing you'll notice is that we're currently open on a tab called My First Method. And if you click the Initialize Event Listeners, you'll see that when the scene is activated, My First Method is called. So that means when you press the Run button, automatically My First Method will start to run. So the first thing we want to do is go to this drop down menu and go to our dragon and click on the dragon. Once we're there, we want to find turn to face and you want to drag in this dot dragon turn to face. And for the target, we're going to choose Alice. If you run the world, you should be able to see this happen. So the dragon turn to face Alice. The next thing we want to do is create a new Alice method, and we want Alice to call for help. So to create a new Alice method, we're going to go to this hexagon, and we're going to click on Alice. And then once you're here, you can click on Add Alice Procedure, and it'll ask you to give it a name, and we're going to call it Cry for Help. Once you've called it that, you can click OK, and it should open up. And in this method, we want Alice to move up and then down, and then we want her to say something. So first, we're going to drag in. We're going to drag in a move. And we want the direction to be up, and we just want to move up one meter. So then we want to do the same thing, but we want to change the direction this time. So we'll drag another move in, and then the direction will be down one meter. And then we want, just want to drag in a, a say. And we want to do custom text and we want to type just help so this should be it for this method you should have a move up one meter move down one meter and Alice should say help and so if we go back to the tab my first method we can drag in this method we just created if you find Alice in the object tree and then drag in cry for help now you should be able to run the world and see what happens. The next thing we want to do is create a dragon method. So you'll go back to this hexagon and find the dragon. And then you can do add a dragon procedure. And we're going to name it flap wings. So to get the flag in to flap his wings, we're going to need to use his subparts. We actually don't have access to his wings, but if you use the get front left clavicle, we're going to use that. So once you're on front left clavicle, you can drag in a turn, and we're going to turn right, and then the smallest mount, 0.125 meters. And then we're going to do the same thing except for the right clavicle. So you go to get front right clavicle and then turn left and then 0.125 meters. We want this to happen together so the both wings flap at the same time so you can drag in a do together and put these two statements inside of it. We also want this to happen pretty quickly so we're going to change the duration to be half a second. For the rest of this method, we just want the wings to go back to where they were before. So I'm gonna, just going to make a copy of this block. It'll copy it to the clipboard, and then I can drag it in. And then I'll just change the way they turn. So right will go to left, and left will go to right. And this should be all for this method. So if we go back to my first method, we can find the drag in. And we can drag in the flap wings method and you should be able to play and see what happens. The dragon flaps its wings. And at the same time the dragon flaps his wings, we want him to move up one meter and forward two meters. So we're gonna put it all in a do together. So drag in a do together, and you can drag in flap wings. You can drag in, a, if you're still on dragon, you can go ahead and drag in a move. And you can do up, one meter, you can drag in another move, 
you can do forward pardon me and it doesn't matter which order the statements are in because they're all in a do together we also want the dragon to circle so we're going to drag in a dragon turn after the do together and we can turn left one revolution so it will go a full circle we want to add detail and then we want to do as seen by and you want to do a scene by Alice. So you can go ahead and run your world. And as he goes around, he looks a little bit weird because he's still facing Alice. So to fix that, before he goes in the circle, you can drag in another turn. Just have him turn right a quarter of a meter. And so if you run, you can see what happens. So then we want the dragon to come back to the ground, so we'll drag in a dragon move down and then one meter. The last thing we want to do is go ahead and have Alice cry for help again. So we'll go to Alice and just drag in cry for help. And you can play your world to see what it looks like. And that's it for this part of the tutorial.